Hey guys! The topic of what to take backpacking sparks a lot of debate among gearheads. We love it, but if you want things simplified, we have a checklist that can help you out. Here's the deal on what I like to take backpacking. No matter what you decide to take in your pack, you always have to have the 10 essentials. Those are navigation, so compass, map, and some sort of protective cover, headlamp, sun protection, first aid kit, so I have mine in uh, this bag, but there's also lots of really awesome first aid kits that already come um, prepackaged and have their own compartments, um, knife, I like this knife because it's really lightweight uh, and really easy to use, but a multi-tool might work for you. Fire, so whether that's waterproof matches or a lighter or whatever it is that will work best for your trip. Uh, shelter, so tent or tarp or hammock or whatever. Uh, extra water, so that's some sort of filter or purifier and then something to hold your water. You can use a water bottle, but I use a reservoir because it helps me stay hydrated and it stays close to my back. Um, extra food. So I keep mine in a bear canister. Uh, you could also use a bear sack or you can use some cord and a carabiner if you want to do a bear hang and know how to do that. And then extra clothing. So uh, getting into some of the other things that I bring in my pack, in this instance, I'm going somewhere where I need to be concerned about bears. So I have bear spray in a holster. Uh, this is just so that it can be easily accessible on the outside of my pack because bear spray doesn't work if it's inside your pack. Um, a couple other things. Oh yeah, I have my poop kit. Um, so in here I have um, a, this is what I use as my pee rag, which is really just for women, but highly recommend having a pee rag. Um, and then a trowel as well as some uh, blue bags and then any toilet paper that I would be bringing with me would go in here as well. Uh, um, oh yeah, so then I have my sleeping pad and my sleeping bag which is in a compression sack just to make it a little bit smaller to easily fit in the bottom of my pack. And then I have my cook kit. So I have this um, titanium spork which is awesome if you don't want to break sporks on trail. Um, and then I also have a a uh, bowl with a lid on it. Um, I like to put my food into here if I think I'm gonna have leftovers for breakfast in the morning or to help rehydrate. And then I can put this bowl um, into my hat to stay warm. And then I have my little cook kit here. So in here I have uh, a couple things. Um, so I have a small rag for drying things. Uh, and then I have this pot grabber handle. Um, then I have a small stove. Uh, the stove that I have is auto lighting, which I really like, but there's a ton of different options out there. Um, and then I have some soap and I have a uh, windscreen as well. Um, oh, and then I also have fuel. Uh, this is a really large canister of fuel, um, which I have for economy's sake. There's a bunch of different sizes and some people will choose to put their fuel into their pot instead. It's totally up to you, but make sure you have fuel. Uh, what else? So yeah, so then I also have my toiletries, uh, which I'll keep in the brain of my pack. Um, and these are things like toothpaste, uh, toothbrush, contacts case, if you're like me and wear contacts or glasses or whatever. Uh, and just keep in mind that anything that does smell like toothpaste will have to go into your bear canister. Um, so I recommend bringing as few smelly things as you can, which means leaving the deodorant at home. Um, and then I also have my camp shoes, which are super lightweight. And these are great because they give your feet a break from, um, boots. This is obviously, uh, you know, a lot of people will bring a lot less than this or a lot more. Uh, I'm going for a couple days and I like to kind of have a little bit more comfort in some ways. Um, oh yeah, and also my cell phone. So like a lot of people, I use this as my camera as well as my alarm clock. So I have this guy. My trail weight on my pack with food and water is about 28 to 30 pounds. Like I said, you can go a lot lighter than that. And you can also go a lot heavier than that if you want to. So that's the deal on what I like to take in my backpack. If you do want a checklist, we have a printable version of this online and you can get this by clicking the link in the description below. Uh, and if you want any more videos or information, please check out any of the links on the side. Uh, and we hope to see you out there.